students till <clears throat> last class uh, we were discussing about uh, inverting uh, non inverting amplifiers in both the cases uh, we learned uh, how to obtain the expression for input impedance output impedance and then uh, bandwidth calculation with feedback with feedback so these are all the things we discussed and also uh, we considered uh, uh, one or two numerical examples to clearly understand what exactly uh, the meaning and then what are going to be the probable values of uh, uh, the same input impedance output impedance bandwidth uh, considering uh, the uh, feedback okay so after that we uh, learnt about dc amplifier and then ac amplifier in brief so these are all the topics covered so far and the rest of the topics uh, uh, to be covered in uh, module 4 uh, titled opamp with the negative feedback and general applications are the topics to, to be covered are uh, summing averaging scaling uh, applications using operation amplifier and uh, we are going to conclude this uh, Uh, module uh, with the discussion on comparators which leads to explanation uh, description of uh, the smith trigger okay so this is what uh, is the uh, agenda for today's class uh, agenda for today's class uh, includes summing amplifier averaging amplifier scaling amplifier and then comparators okay the first is uh, the um, summing Uh, this summing operation can be realized in uh, two different uh, ways uh, or two different configurations they are uh, inverting configuration non inverting configuration so what i am showing you people on the uh, board is the summing amplifier with inverting uh, configuration the reason behind calling it uh, uh, inverting configuration uh, summary is the input is applied at the inverting terminal that is the reason why uh, it is called summing amplifier with inverting configuration then why is it called summing means uh, we know that summing is the operation of adding two or more number of uh, inputs or numbers okay so here we have input 1 input 2 input 3 uh, respectively called v suffix a vb and then vc so the output is going to give us Uh, sum of all these inputs that's why the name uh, summing amplifier so this figure shows uh, uh, three inputs v a b c and then this uh, rf uh, is the uh, feedback uh, resistor okay so this circuit uh, can be used as uh, summing scaling as well as uh, the averaging purpose also by uh, suitably adjusting the values of the Uh, circuit parameters okay so from this uh, uh, diagram uh, we find that uh, this current if if is the current through the feedback resistor uh, is equal to uh, i suffix a plus uh, ib plus plus ic okay so we can add here uh, if plus ib also okay so generally uh, ideally we take this ib to be uh, zero it is known to all of us because uh, uh, the input impedance uh, zi athwa ri is ideally infinity and also uh, this uh, v1 and v2 are same v1 and v2 are same and they are equal to zero this is v2 this is v1 so they are equal and equal to zero there exists no phase sorry no voltage difference between these two points uh, or these two terminals hence uh, uh, the current is ideally going to be zero so therefore for all practical purposes we take if is equal to uh, ia plus ic uh, plus ib okay so that is the point to be uh, remembered so now uh, with this discussion uh, we we can write that uh, ia is actually Uh, voltage va divided by the resistance ra see this is va 
this divided by r a will give me this current because this is basic uh, ohms law okay then plus another input is uh, v b is the input v b divided by r b uh, similarly uh, v c divided by r c so when we add these three currents uh, what we are going to have is i f and that i f using uh, uh, this uh, 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 ohm law is written as minus uh, v not minus v not by r f. Okay, so this equation uh, can be rewritten like this: v not is equal to minus outside. Okay, because we have minus here. The reason behind uh, having minus here is the polarity of the v a b c opposite to the polarity of v f. The polarity of the output V naught. That's why uh, we have minus sign. That V naught is equal to minus R F by uh, R A multiplied by V A. R F by R B multiplied by V B plus R F by R C multiplied by V suffix A. So this is the expression for the output of uh, this particular schematic shown, which is an inverting configuration uh, with three. Uh, different inputs V A V B V C applied to the inverting terminal. Okay, so now the question here is the question here is uh, how do we justify that the circuitry is going to act like a summer? Summer is addition; it's known to all of us. So therefore, uh, uh, here now we are going to make an assumption to to make the circuitry to function like an adder. So what I am going to do is I let uh, uh, these resistors R A R B R C is equal to the same. R A is equal to R B is equal to R C is equal to R. So then what happens to this expression? This expression you see here um, R A R B and this R C are going to be the same and is equal to R. So therefore I am going to get V not is equal to minus R F divided by R. Okay, so because R A R B R C are same, which can be taken out along with R F in the numerator. Okay, so it comes out. Then we are going to have inside the brackets V suffix A plus V B plus V C. So this bracket is what sum of three input voltages. So therefore, output. in this case now by putting r a is equal to r b is equal to r c is equal to r is output is equal to sum of the input multiplied by negative of the ratio of r f and r so therefore uh, this circuit behaves like a uh, summing amplifier this circuit behaves like a summing amplifier it is summing the input and that sum of the inputs is multiplied by The factor minus R F by R one, hence it is called summing amplifier. Sum the input multiplied by a summing uh, multiplication factor R F by uh, R. That's why the name uh, summing amplifier. Okay. So when the gain of the circuitry is equal to one, so how do we make that gain of the circuitry is equal to one? R F is equal to R. If you make, if you make. R F is equal to R, then gain is equal to one. So then output becomes equal to V not is equal to V A plus V B plus V C. Then the circuit is called simply summer, that is summing one. Okay. So this is how uh, we are going to realize or explain the uh, summing operation of uh, the. Ampli the operation amplifier in uh, inverting configuration having uh, uh, three number of inputs. Okay, so now let's pass on to the next schematic. What is called the scaling? This scaling operation is also called the scaling amplifier is also called weighted amplifier. Is also called weighted amplifier. Okay, so here uh, we have the schematic which is uh, similar to the previous example that is summing amplifier. V A 
VB, VC, they are the same. Again, RA, RB, RC are same. RF is there, V1, V2. So everything uh, remains the same only. Only thing is, uh, in this case, if each input voltage is amplified by a different factor, then the circuit is called scaling amplifier. That means, so the input is, the output is going to be um, scaled at the output of the amplifier. Okay. So how do we do it? Uh, uh, referring to the previous, uh, uh, this one only, uh, we get the expression for the output like this for the schematic. V0 is equal to minus RF by RA into VA plus RF by RB uh, into VB plus RF by RC into you know, v, uh, uh, v suffix A. Okay. So here we should remember that we should remember that this RF by RA is not equal to RF by RB is not equal to RF by RC. So then what happens is it functions like a uh, scaling amplifier. It functions like a scaling amplifier. What exactly is scaling? Scaling is multiplication of a quantity by a number is called scaling. So we are doing that operation. Okay. So next, the next application is averaging. Averaging. Mm, averaging is known to us students. It is a simple one. Uh, if you have uh, two numbers with you people, uh, let us say we have uh, two numbers, four and six. If somebody questions you, what is the average of these two? It's very simple. We are going to add these two numbers. That is four plus six divided by the number of num uh, number of elements. So it is six plus four is ten. Ten by two is equal to five. Five is the average. So this kind of operation is called, this kind of operation is called averaging and we are going to uh, perform that operation uh, on the input signals making use of the operation amplifier um, in operation amplifier in inverting uh, this one. Okay. Well, here the output uh, signal is equal to is made equal to uh, average of the inputs by appropriately uh, adjusting the value of the resistor. So uh, how do we do this one, right? So all the uh, input resistors are made equal to uh, one value, that is uh, three resistors are there, RA is equal to, RB is equal to R. So all the input resistors, RA, RB, and RC are of the uh, same value and then what we do is in addition the gain of the amplifier is made equal to 1 divided by n what is the gain of the amplifier in case of inverting uh, inverting configuration it is uh, uh, rf divided by feedback resistance divided by r so this is made equal to 1 by n here what is this n n is the n is the number of inputs n is the number of inputs okay in the present case how many inputs we have we have here input one input two input three so therefore n is equal to three so this n is equal to three will give me what rf divided by r is equal to one by three rf divided by r is equal to one by three so therefore therefore in this equation, I am going to substitute all these discussions, what I said to you people now. So what did I say? RA is equal to R, RB is equal to R, RC is equal to R. So therefore, in all the three terms, RF by R is the common. Take it outside. So we get output V0 is equal to minus RF divided by R multiplied by VA plus VB plus VC. Okay. So now I said here, we have to adjust the value of the feedback resistance and the input resistors RABC such that RF by R is equal to 1 by 3. So I am going to substitute the same here. Right. So it is 
one by three, I will take it outside. So uh, within the bracket, V A plus V B plus V C divided by three. This is what is going to be the output. If you look at this one, we find that there are three inputs to the circuitry, and three inputs are added divided by three to get the output. So therefore, it is called the averaging circuitry. Averaging circuitry is one which is going to add all the inputs, divide the sum by, divided by number of inputs. So that's what is happening here, and hence the name averaging circuitry. So this is what uh, is about the averaging. So we learnt about summing, we learnt about scaling, we learnt about averaging uh, in case of uh, uh, operation amplifier in inverting configuration. Okay. So now these circuits are, uh, I mean, these circuits, these three different circuits are uh, used in case of analog computers and also uh, in case of uh, some of the uh, uh, audio mixtures. Okay. So next, uh, I'll just take up one simple numerical example uh, to make you people understand what exactly the meaning of uh, whatever we had so far. Hmm? So uh, in, in the circuit of inverting configuration with three input uh, students, what we had last three schematics are of the three inputs only. In such a case, uh, we have given here VA, VB, VC, three inputs are given. Okay, so the value uh, is uh, one volt, two volt, three volts respectively. Corresponding resistances are of the same value, that is three kilo ohm. Feedback resistance is one kilo ohm. This is R suffix OM. I have said about this uh, offset adjust uh, resistance number of times while discussing uh, the input. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, inverting and non inverting amplifier. This is the resistance used to uh, adjust the uh, offset differences, whatever we observe at the output. So that should be nullified. Okay. And the supply voltage here is plus uh, or minus 15 volts. So VCC is plus 15 volts. V suffix W is the minus 15 volts. We have to assume that the amp up is initially nulled. That means to say we should make the offset voltage zero. The question is to determine the output voltage. So here output voltage needs to be uh, determined. So the, how do we solve this one? In the previous discussion, uh, we obtained the expression for the output. What is that? Output is equal to, in case of inverting case, minus RF by minus RF divided by R, open the bracket, you write VA plus VB plus VC. Okay, we have to substitute, right? So what is this RF? RF is equal to 1K, then R is equal to 3K. RA, RB, RC, they are all same and are equal to uh, 3K. So then you, you substitute for inputs. 1 volt plus 2 volts plus 3 volts. Use the calculator and then simplify. You are going to get minus 2 volts. Thus, therefore, the output is equal to minus 2 volts. This is a simple example to understand. So you can clearly make out uh, the operation performed by this circuitry, the circuitry which is specified in the uh, problem. Okay, so with this now we are going to passing on to a similar kind of operation with respect to with respect to the non-inverting configuration. Similar set of explanation, similar kind of operations, but with respect to non-inverting configuration. So therefore, the explanation will more or less remain the same. Only thing is you are going to have a different uh, amplification factor in case of non-inverting amplifier with reference to the same in case of inverting amplifier. In case of inverting amplifier, amplification factor is minus RF by R. Uh, that is feedback resistance by input resistance. Whereas in case of non-inverting case, it is one plus RF by R. What is this? RF is the feedback resistance, R is the input resistance. This is what exactly is the difference that we find between the two. The rest of the explanation, operation, dot, dot, will remain same. So that's what you are going to observe now. Okay, let us start. 
with a reference to the non inverting amplifier so in we know that in case of non inverting operation we are going to apply the input to the positive or the non inverting terminal um, of the uh, operation amplifier that's what you are observing on the board va a vb vc corresponding resistors r okay so these three inputs are put together to non inverting amp non inverting terminal of the operation amplifier hence it is called non inverting configuration as there are more than two are equal to uh, more than two number of inputs this is going to perform the uh, summing operation so it is called summing amplifier with non inverting configuration so here uh, input sources and voltage sources are put directly to the uh, non inverting amplifier this uh, uh, circuit can be uh, used as either Uh, summer or averaging both that depending up that depends upon the value of the resistors that we are going to choose so based on this resistor r and rf uh, and r1 uh, we can uh, uh, realize summing or averaging operation okay so in case of this uh, uh, summing with non inverting amplification we are going to apply superposition principle to get the expression for Uh, the output here so what is superposition theorem superposition spt is known to all the students if there are more than two uh, are equal more than one number of inputs to any of the electrical electronic circuitry we apply one of the inputs and then get the output keep it as result one then turn off all the inputs turn on only second input get the output two then if there are still more number of inputs let us say three inputs are there turn off all the inputs turn on only last input measure the output so we have three outputs here corresponding to each of the inputs so three outputs can be added to get the final output of the circuitry due to three all the three inputs apply together okay so that's what is the meaning of uh, uh, superposition theorem that is what is uh, uh, done here okay so therefore what we do in this case now to realize the summing operation using uh, uh, op amp in non inverting configuration is uh, to start with we are going to write the expression for the voltage v1 so this is voltage v1 what is available at the non inverting terminal so that v1 is equal to students you see 1 um, 2 3 resistors are there here okay so therefore v1 is equal to r divided by 2 divided by r plus r by 2 v sub x this is this is all very much known to all of you this is making use of a uh, simple well voltage dividing concept voltage dividing circuit uh, concept to uh, get the voltage v1 due to va vb vc right so va vb vc along with r1 uh, sorry our resistors r r and r we are applying to non inverting terminal i am trying to find out the 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 voltage available at the a non inverting terminal so this is the formula called voltage dividing formula used to find the voltage v1 available at the input terminal non inverting terminal of the operation amplifier so uh, this can be simplified very simple right so therefore on simplification i get uh, that first term is va by 3 second term is vb by 3 third term is vc by 3 so therefore what i am going to get v1 is so v1 is equal to now it is 1 by 3 is common va plus vb plus vc so this is what is the voltage available at the input so now what is the output i have told you number of times that the output of the non inverting amplifier is equal to okay 1 plus r f divided by r multiplied by v1 multiplied by v1 so what is v1 here you have to substitute that will give us the desired answer so therefore 
वन प्लस आर एफ डिवाइडेड बाय आर वी वन इज व्हाट इज वी वन इयर वी वन इज वी ए प्लस वी बी प्लस वी सी ओल डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री सो इयर द इनपुट्स आर ऑवरेज एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द एम्पलिफिकेशन फैक्टर इन केस ऑफ नॉन इनवर्टिंग एम्पलिफायर दैट इज वन प्लस आर एफ डिवाइडेड बाय आर so this is what is the summing amplifier inputs are added and then multiplied by the amplification uh, factor okay so now if you simply want to have the averaging effect the output of the average of inputs uh, to be considered here okay so that's very simple what do should what do we make here is right so this is what is the output we obtained in the previous uh, uh, summing application now so to have only the average why should make this 1 plus rf by r1 is equal to 1 that's all we have to adjust the value of uh, we have to adjust the value of rf and r such that such that 1 plus rf divided by r is equal to 1 this is a we have to that's very simple one that's very simple one you can uh, easily adjust the value of rf and r such that uh, the sum uh, the, the the sum is equal to 1 and hence uh, this bracket scaling amplification factor becomes 1 then at the output you are going to have only sum of the inputs divided by the scaling factor 3 so this is how we can realize uh, the averaging operation in case of non inverting amplifiers okay so this is clear to all of you so therefore at this point uh, under the heading of uh, the non inverting application we learnt about averaging okay next uh, i'll just explain you a little more about this uh, uh, summing application uh, so here uh, the output uh, is equal to 1 plus uh, rf divided by r and then multiplied by va plus vb plus uh, vc divided by 3 this is the uh, what is this the input impedance with uh, uh, with 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 feedback okay uh, we'll consider a numerical example on this one right so non inverting case non inverting case okay supply voltage vcc plus 15 vwe minus 15 va vb vc are given respectively plus 2 volts minus 3 volts plus 4 volts r is equal to r1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm feedback resistance is 2 kilo ohm we have to determine the voltage v1 at the non inverting terminal v1 and also we have to find out the output voltage so this is what is asked in the uh, problem so therefore uh, we have the uh, equation to find that v1 v1 is the input at the non inverting terminal in the present is it is one input is 2 volts another uh, input is minus 3 volts uh, one more input is plus 4 volts there are three inputs so you have to take the algebraic sum divided by uh, 3 we will get the v1 then how do you find the output voltage v0 v0 is equal to 1 plus r f divided by r 1 plus r f divided by r multiplied by this v1 readily available the result is ready 1 volt here so substitute for uh, r f and r so output is equal to 1 plus r f is 2 kilo ohms in this case uh, r is equal to 1 kilo ohm in this case then multiply it by 1 this is the result you uh, simplify what are you get is the 3 volts so this is the output of the uh, example what is posed in the previous slide like this okay so uh, this is uh, about uh, uh, non inverting amplifier mm, non inverting amplifier and then uh, the next topic is the differential configuration so whatever uh, we learned till this point is inversion 
inverting configuration second what i explained is non inverting configuration number 3 is differential configuration differential configuration i think by the time uh, you i you, you, you by at this time you have learnt about inverting amplification or inverting application where the input is applied to the minus terminal or inverting terminal another is input is applied to non inverting terminal that is called non inverting configuration then what should be the meaning of differential configuration input is applied to both the terminals input is applied to both the terminals so this is what is the um, meaning of differential uh, configuration so we now take up the differential configuration and explain uh, the same okay so that this, this differential configuration will have two inputs one input to inverting amplifier another input to non inverting uh, sorry inverting uh, terminal and another input is applied to non inverting terminal they are v suffix a this is v suffix a and this is v suffix b at the output we are going to have vb minus va so this is very simple see here va is the input so this is applied to the inverting terminal the output is known to us because you know, that is uh, uh, the feedback resistor is also r so this input resistance is also r so r divided by r with minus sign the input va will give the uh, output pertaining to uh, the input available at the inverting terminal similarly when you consider the other side non inverting terminal so you should calculate the output so when you put them together that is the output the output v not is equal to minus r divided by r minus r divided by r then va minus vb r and r we cancel minus we take inside this becomes vb minus va is the output of this circuit okay so output is equal to vb minus va so what kind of operation is this 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 operation is subtraction therefore the schematic is called subtractor the schematic is subtractor this configuration is differential configuration so therefore this is also called a simple differential amplifier as a subtractor okay so this is the point to be remembered this configuration of applying input to uh, input to both inverting and non inverting terminal is called differential configuration and the output is the difference of the two inputs so therefore here the circuitry uh, is called a subtractor okay so the next diagram <coughs> is the summing amplifier in case of summing amplifier in case of differential configuration sum is to add to add i should have at least two inputs so therefore for this, this for this differential amplifier in the uh, previous discussion if you wanted to use as a adder you should have two inputs so therefore i have here va and vb two inputs applied to the inverting terminal vc and vd two inputs applied to the non inverting terminal okay so now uh, we have to uh, find out the output corresponding to uh, each of the inputs right so the output v not uh, in this case is obtained by again using uh, what is it uh, superposition theorem superposition theorem is used here that is uh, we have to find out the output corresponding to uh, va alone separately keeping vb zero then turn on vb only find out the corresponding output of uh, corresponding output vob corresponding to vb input and so on for the input vc input vd so these are the corresponding outputs then we have to check what exactly is that output is going to be in there okay so va <coughs> if i consider alone okay so uh, what happens then is the circuit uh, becomes a kind of inverting amplifier uh, in which the uh, the 
inverting input is at virtual ground so therefore the output uh, v suffix o a is given by um, this is uh, feedback resistance is r input resistance is r so therefore it is minus r divided by r multiplied by v suffix a we can cancel r and r. this is minus v a similarly i can find out v o b keeping all others at the zero level this will give me uh, minus v b similarly v o c is okay this is v c is the input applied to non inverting terminal v d is the input applied to non inverting terminal so therefore both these outputs v o c and v o d will be like this plus v c is equal to plus v d unlike uh, the first two results first two results have minus sign here because these two are the outputs pertaining to input applied to inverting terminal v o c and v o d are the outputs corresponding to the inputs applied to the non inverting terminal so now we have all the four outputs corresponding to each of the inputs applied separately so now we have to add all these results according to the superposition uh, theorem so then what do we get the output of this circuitry what is called the summing amplifier using a differential configuration is v out is equal to v minus v a minus v b okay plus v c plus v suffix b so what is the operation taking place here we are having sum of v a v b v c and then v d okay so this is what is about summing scaling and then averaging summing scaling and averaging making use of inverting amplifier inverting configuration non inverting configuration and then differential configuration students uh, i am going to stop this lecture at this point so as a summary we have learned during today's session about summing scaling averaging using inverting non inverting and then differential configurations in the next class we are going to learn about comparator zero crossing detector and then uh, and then one more is smit trigger okay so i am going to uh, stop at this point we'll see you in the next class